Hello, my friends. Thank you for being here today. Um, if you came here, if you click this video, you probably value an easy eye look. Just a simple, no fooling around, doesn't involve a zillion steps eye look that could work and you could just pick it up and it would serve you in any part of your day. And maybe it would be a little flexible and it could go darker and deeper and more dramatic if you wanted it to. But overall, it's like all you need. If you click this video, even if you love a big palette like I do, you still might be a little intrigued about what can I use that's only two shades and it can get me anywhere I want to be. Guys, it's this little duo from Clinique. I got it recently from Ulta. It's called Day Into Date. It's the All About Shadow Duo. And now I know it doesn't look all that exciting, but honestly, guys, if you like neutrals, this turns out to be very exciting. Number one, the finishes of these, the perfect perfect satin finish. Like, you will love the sheen that you see out of this, and there's a little sheen in this that just makes it very easy to use, okay? And this brown shade here is not just simply brown. I would say it's brown mixed with a little bit of rose and a little bit of plum. It's very interesting, and it looks like it absolutely just belongs on the eyes, okay? So I, I love this duo so much. I'm so glad I gave this a shot. I was looking for something that would give me that easy classic eye, but could perhaps go darker if I wanted it to. And there is a little duo. Um, I remember it from the absolute earliest days on my channel. It's from the brand Jane. Does that tell you something? Uh, they had these mineral, I think they were called, eyeshadow duos, and there was one in the shade called Red Rocks, and I swear it was the exact same kind of color scheme tone as this. It had that murky kind of browny taupey, rosy, lilac kind of deep shade, and then a shade paired beside it that was not quite as gorgeous as this, but on the same tone level. And I will never forget that duo because I remembered thinking how perfect it just looked on the eyes. It looked like it belonged on the eyes. So I'm going to take you through a very quick tutorial with this. I know it's a very specific, like, content for a video. Like, you're going to center this whole video around this little simple eye duo, but yes, I absolutely am because I think it's important and I think it will help people. But I will talk you through what I've already done on my skin. Okay, I primed, I used my Huda, like this gel type primer, water jelly hydrating primer. Pop that on all over. I used my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer oil free with the SPF 20. Got that all nicely blended in. For concealer, I used my e.l.f. camo concealer and then I set that with my Urban Decay all nighter setting powder and I just kind of blotted that in with a new little puff that I've been using lately. For my face steps, I use my Catrice California in a box palette, which is a fabulous multitasking palette. I mixed my two bronzer shades and I use that everywhere I like to bronze and contour. So um, the hairline, the cheekbone area, down the neck and chest. Then I use the pinky tone blush that's in there. Both blushes are wonderful. And then I picked up the highlight as well and just use that to brighten up not only the top of the cheekbones, but also a little bit on the forehead, down the nose and on the cupid's bow. I set that with some of my Essence Watermelon Setting Spray. And then I did brows. I I used my Benefit uh, micro filling pen, which I, I love that stuff. You just literally hold it in the vicinity of your brows and it just kind of does the work. Um, I used a little Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Gel to set and then I popped on my Milani eyeshadow primer to get me to the point we're at now. So we are totally ready for this sweet little duo here. So is this anything new? No. This is something that's been around for a long time. For some reason, I got compelled to look into shadow duos more. I feel like quads, with the e.l.f. bite size quads, those started to gain more popularity, but it, there's nothing simpler than a duo, really. Unless you just want to do a one shadow look, which is totally great, too. A one shadow look is simplicity, okay? A duo is simplicity plus versatility. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the sponge tip that they gave, and I'm going to pop one end into my dark color. And I'm going to dab this on the outer part of my eyelid, and I'm going to flip it. I'm going to use it like it's a flat brush, basically and I'm gonna get that into the outer part of my crease as well. Okay, we're gonna worry about blending this in just a minute. Right now, it's just about placement, and you can totally use a sponge tip to place. And this shade is actually like so unique, um, and the finish, too, is also very unique because it's not fully matte. It's got the slightest sheen to it. But we're talking brownie plus a little rosy. You'd swear there was a splash of plum in there. Somebody in a very sophisticated, nuanced way mixed into a brown and made this beautiful shade. Now I'm taking a blender brush. This is my Profusion ES2, but um, think about a Sigma E25. You know, something with a little fluff and body and movement. 
um, but I like these brushes that are like the E25 and that they're a bit pinched and it makes it go just a little wider and works very well in that side to side crease motion. So you see what I'm doing now? I'm taking what was sitting there in the crease and I'm just kind of moving it about. I'm letting it shear out, I'm letting it come inward, I'm letting it kind of just easily now fill that space, okay? And you can even kind of graze over what was on the lid if you want to get that a little more blended looking too. Okay, so it's pretty, it's sheared out, we're liking the look. Now we're going to go over to the other side of the sponge tip and we're going to go into our lighter shade right here. My only complaint about this is that I wish it would have been equal amounts of both the colors, but that's okay. But I'm going to just start dabbing this on my lid. The pigment is beautiful. The sheen is really where it's at. I mean, it's going to brighten. It's providing that nice contrast with the other shade. But it just looks so natural, so much like it belongs there not chalky, and even as you wear it, something about it just looks even more like, oh wow, that belongs, you know? That's my eyes, but better. So I just patted that on, and then as a last little step here, I'm gonna take this brush, I'm gonna make sure it's pretty much clean of any darkness. I'm gonna go back into my light shade, just dab in, and then I'm gonna take that over the edge, okay? So it's just giving that little bit of ease and blending. It's kind of just taking us out of the darkness and into the light. This light shade is being applied less for the purpose of highlighting and more just to fade out of the brown, okay? There's your everyday easy beautiful with this. I love it. I absolutely love it. I could wear this and be content with this just every single day. But the name of the duo actually implies day into date. So I thought, let's show just an easy way to step this up a little bit. Like, let's say you were wearing it this way all day. Picture the fact that you've probably had like maybe eyeliner or mascara on with it, but I don't care what you decided to put on later. You can still go in and you can still add to the look. Get a smaller, more pinpointed brush. The Pro Fusion ES6. This is so affordable. This is so, I think, necessary in people's collection because this is where you say, okay, I'm going to put that shadow exactly where I want it. I'm going to get a deepened up effect. So you're going to go into your dark shade with that. You're going to go right into the deepest part of your crease. And I feel like I'm going in little, like kind of circular motions almost. I'm just taking it up out. You know how I like to do. You know the, the area that I like to get that lift. And look at how deep this shade can go. I mean, come on. And it looks gorgeous, okay? So just a little bit tip of brush directly into the depths of your crease and then let it come up above the crease so now we're providing lift, we're providing a little more darkness. But something about this shadow and this whole duo feels a little more like, oh, it's just naturally occurring. And look at that little sheen, just gentle sheen on the lid. Oh, okay, depth and lift. If you feel like you need to go over and grab your blending brush and go over that some more, go for it. You can also use that kind of a brush and just take it down on the lower lash line and look, suddenly more defined, but kind of in a smoky way. Oh boy, do I love that. Yes. So this is the beautiful way you can shift your look and take it into that date night look after, you know, you've been wearing it in a pretty easy, simple way all day. And you are also, you're gonna love this kind of sandwiching method that I know I've talked about before in the olden days of my channel where you got something light on the lid, deep in the crease, and then you can kind of take that lighter shade and still work it in up above. And that beautiful blend that that gives you, oh, I love that. It's gorgeous, it's absolutely lovely. So now you're saying, okay, and bring it home, finish the look, show me how it goes. Um, I'm gonna put a little ABH brightener pencil in my lower inner rim. If you wanted to go for maximum drama, I mean, think about doing a liner across the top and even something smoky in the lower inner rim. You could use that lazy liner technique I like to talk about sometimes, which is just a jumbo shadow stick across the upper lash line and kind of smudged and blended. Um, I think for me today, I'm not even gonna do eyeliner. I'm gonna curl the lashes and just go for the most potent mascara look I can get. Lately, I've been liking the combo of my 
um, Estee Lauder Little Black Primer, which this is the hairspray, okay? I just came off the lash curler and now I want those lashes still sticking up, so this is what I put on them. And then I've been topping it with the Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume because that stuff is so like thick and rich and heavy and um, the lashes can take it when they've got little black primer on, but when they don't, they kind of drop. Get that curl, freeze that curl. So lashes are done. That was Estee Lauder Little Black Primer plus Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume plus a little bit of Thrive Liquid, Liquid Lash Extensions on the lower lashes. Or you could just throw some of that little black primer down there and it won't move on you. Now I'm going to do a little lip line here. This is my Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Epic. Kind of like a deep uh, dusty rose type color. And then over that, I'm going to use my Nivea Blackberry Lip Balm. Lips feel comfy. Lips feel like they've got an amount of color that makes me feel very finished. Pull that on just a little more powder because there continues to be some on this little beauty blender sponge. But guys, there's the finished look, and I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing about how the finishes of this duo are so impressive and so beautiful, and how it just seems right and natural on the eyes. And you could see how we kind of did the first layer of the look, which was basically just dabbing on the outer corner, blending it out, and then popping the light shade on the lid, blending a little bit of that light shade on the edge, and boom, it's easy every day. But then we bring in a little more pinpointed brush. We work it up a little bit in that outer corner, let it give us more lift, let it give us more depth, and then also gently um, underneath the eye for some definition. And you've got a little more drama. It's only two shades. It's just two shades that happen to be absolutely wonderful and perfect in their finish, in their tone. I was just so glad that I randomly got this and it was one of those things where I'm like, I need to do a video now. I need to get this out there to people. <laughs> because for so many, I think this might be exactly what the doctor ordered. It is true simplicity plus versatility. So thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this little video on this eyeshadow duo and I hope you have a great day. I love you. Bye.